Hello and welcome to Whimsy Creek Art. In today's video, I'm going to go over beginner paint pour supplies. Just the basic supplies for paint pours. Alright, you can pause the video here to see it written out. Or here's just some of the supplies. Uh, gloves. Always make sure you have gloves, but reuse your gloves. You can use them over and over and over again. But protect your hands and have gloves. And then you're going to need a pouring medium. My pouring medium of choice is Floetrol. Um, some other people use other uh, pouring mediums. I have used other pouring mediums on this channel before, but Floetrol is my pouring medium of choice. So I buy it by the gallon and it, I buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot in the United States and I use the US Floetrol and it's about $17 a gallon. So for this series we're going to use the Craft Smart 24 piece acrylic paint set. These are small two ounce bottles of just cheap craft paint and um, this is just fine to use for a beginner and so this this is just a very beginner video and so this is the supplies next video I will be actually mixing paint and discussing more about this particular paint but for this series I'm going to be using this 24 piece paint set now the only thing is is I do not use the white. I do not use Craft Smart White or Apple Barrel White. Now all other colors I use. I have no problem with all those colors except for the white. So for this series we're going to use Liquitex Basics Titanium White. So the next video we'll mix this all up. But uh, the Liquitex Basics is a little bit thicker. That's a medium body paint. And then the two ounce Craft Smart bottles are a craft paint. So they're a little bit thinner. So I'll show you all about mixing those up on the next video. So make sure to subscribe and stay around. And so just coming up will be the next video will be how to mix all this paint. Here's, you can use really any good titanium white or any white I just choose not to use the white and we'll get into that in the mixing video I'll talk a little bit more of why I don't use the white craft smart but I use a better quality white invest in a little bit better quality white and so all right so those are the first supplies and then I also use a lot of recycle a lot of yogurt cups I turn them upside down to put uh, things on to paint pour on you can mix right in the yogurt cup and then I use popsicle sticks so they have the larger popsicle sticks those are more useful for the mixing but you can use the smaller popsicle sticks um, as you can see I just reuse them over and over and over again you can use them over and over use your supplies over and over again and then just a variety of cup sizes and you can mix your paint in cups uh, and reuse those cups over and over again I will mix paint in cups of several different times uh, dirty pour flip cups right in the same cups and then when it gets kind of thick in there you can literally just peel the paint out and reuse it over and over again and then you don't have to have but I'm going to be using a silicone a 100% silicone and this is treadmill oil spot-on treadmill oil and a little bit goes a long way but it's a hundred percent and I got this on Amazon now I will have links down below for the treadmill oil the flow trial the paint you know everything I will have links down below so now you're gonna want to mix your paint you can mix it in the cups or you can mix it in the bottles I get my bottles at the Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. I like to mix it in the bottles because it lasts long term. You can last I, eight, nine, ten months in a bottle. It's just fine. It really depends on your temperature, um, how hot, how super cold your area is. And then you can want a surface to paint on. You can use ceramic tiles. I get them at Habitat for Humanity Restore or Home Depot Lowe's, just regular old ceramic tiles. You can pour on wood. Later in this series, we'll get into pouring on each of these surfaces. 
and then you can pour on canvas. So for this series, I'm going to be pouring on 10 by 10 inch canvases. So we're gonna do a whole bunch of different techniques and I'm gonna teach you how to do those. So I put my uh, surfaces onto a aluminum plate or a pan and I just use yogurt cups, fruit cups upside down, and you can get the cheapo aluminum pans like I just had at like the Dollar Tree, just a cheapo aluminum real thin. Or you can get these thicker ones. I got this one at the Walmart. You can always get them at garage sales as well. But I use um, these yogurt cups, any fruit cups, upside down, and I then set my canvas on that. And these are these pans are for the smaller. If you're going to be pouring on a larger surface, I just move the pans all aside and pour right on there. So, and I'll show you that in just a moment. And then you're also going to need a torch. I use a chef's torch or like a creme brulee torch, which I got off of Amazon. It's just a butane torch, just refills in the bottom. It has just a small little flame and I'll show you how to use that and more specifics of the torch later on in this series. This is going to be about a 10 to 15 part series where we're really going to delve into all of it. So. Uh, I these are just some of the uh, other paints that I also use. I use Master's Touch, Liquitex Basics, Cheap Paint. I even use Apple Barrel. I just stay away from the white. And we'll talk more about that on the next episode of this series. But today, for this series, we're going to be using the 24-piece Craft Smart. So, all right, down below in the description, I will have listed all of the supplies that I went over. And so we're also going to use a little bit of water. I keep it in the squeeze bottle. And so I use the distilled water because I do mix my paints in the bottles long term. If you're just going to mix them in the cups, just short term, you can use tap water. But if you're going to store them long term, you know, for a month, two months to eight, nine, ten months, you're going to want to use uh, bottled water or distilled water is what I use. And I just keep a little bit in a little squeeze bottle here. And you can always just add a little bit of water at a time because you never want to thin it down too much. And last but not least, you're going to want to protect your surface. And so I just get plastic, white plastic tablecloths from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. Or also you can use plastic shower curtain liners. Alright, so that is just the basic paint pour supplies. Next video, I will mix up the paint. And then we'll get into different techniques. So please let me know if you have any questions. Please share this video out. And like and subscribe and all those good things. All right. Thank you so much.